All right, welcome back to SnowRunner, and we are right where we left off with the damages on the Fleet Star and uh, the metal beams still in the back. We are headed to the quarry, which is past the dam, and then down here. I'm thinking I will take the ramped flatbed trailer. If it's not too full, I'll take it back up to the trailer store and sell it because we already have one but if it's filled with something then i might as well just leave it there so without further ado i will head towards the quarry and i will see you guys there all right here we are at the quarry i'm going in here this is quite a steep downhill ah oh, there are two containers on it all right so we're not going to take the trailer because i can see it from here already uh then we are going to decide which way we are going down and that's going to be obviously this way then we're going to turn back here and then somehow then somehow i hope we are going to end up we are going to turn back here. We're going to end up hopefully somewhere here. And then we will take this S turn into the quarry. All right. Uh, let's just improvise. Am I going to need all wheel drive? Probably. Am I going to use it? Not until necessary. Uh, this turn is sketchy as everything I can find in here But we did it we did it anyway All right, we are on the lower level It's good um, The fact that my front tires are lacking grip it's not really something I enjoy, but... I do feel inclined to let you know that I haven't used all-wheel drive yet. And this is going really smooth so far. It's a plain assailant so far. It's water. I don't like water because you sink away in the mud down below the water. And I will just avoid it for as much as possible. All right, here we go. We go up here a little bit up. Not too much of a hassle anymore. And then we went down the whole quarry. With the metal beams. And we have been promoted to rank 7 with another 5,000 credits or whatever. In the bank. Um, and then... We still have that trans star over here. Um, is it advisable to go and get it? Are we going to run into issues or are we going to... You know what? Let's just try and get that trend star out of there. Let's just try and get it out of there. We got new tires since the last time we tried. Last time we tried with a car. This time we're going to do it with a truck. And I know there's a new contract already lined up for me, but I'm not going to start that just yet. And now I'm using all-wheel drive to get up here because my tires are struggling to get traction because of the rocks! Huh. 
I have to shout at the game more often. Well, we are going up the quarry again. Or, I hope we're going up. Almost tipped over there. Almost tipped over here. This looks like a way up. So let's just follow it. And then we are going to have to turn around somewhere. Because we are now up. And our wheels are struggling for traction because of the rocks again. Also, the unlucky fisherman is somewhere here. Right? Unlucky fisherman. Yeah, it's there. Is it possible for me to get down there safely? No, it is not. Um, no, I'm not even going to start that yet. I know it's just a car. But getting back up there, up here, it's going to be a nightmare for me. We are going to find the trans star. No! Dang it. The trans star, like I said. This is more like uh, the old days, the old quarries. Uh, because nowadays they do have dang it, they do have hardened roads going around because safety, health, regu health and safety regulations, you know, and going out with this road right here is going to be what we need to do if my front tires want to get traction this way should be the trans star should be going to the trans star i have to say sorry hold up hold up hold up not too fast and of course not too slow but Mainly not too fast. Because then you're going over the edge, and you're going to be rolling down, and then you're going to be somewhere in a place you don't want to be. Like against the tree, for example. Alright, let me find the trans star on the map. And find a good way to get there. Um, mainly just following the road. Would be advisable. Now with the scout this was a lot easier I think. But the, tr the truck is doing quite a good job already. I can see in second gear it's just moving along still, so... It looks fairly solid. It's going to follow the road line, the power lines, which should be indicating the quote-unquote road. think even though it's a little bit finicky with the power poles moving the left to right but yeah this is still part of considered road also the power poles are a great anchor to put your winch on if you tend to get stuck um do I go up there? No, I do not. And the trans star is over there, so I need to veer off the road right now. Past the trees. 
Why was it over there? Who thought it would be a good idea to take a road truck there? And bring it over there. Who thought it was a good idea? Now this is a heavy duty truck, so it's not an off-road truck, but it's still able to do off-road things-ish because of all-wheel drive and diff lock. And I have to say, they did get quite far. Considering where they are at and where they were planning to go. Or where it looks like they were planning to go. But we'll go around here because that's where the tram star is. Move around. And go in here. And then find out that you're going to be stuck in the same predicament as the trans star. Uh, you. Go there. Keep it moving. Can the front hook onto anything on the other side? Not yet. How about now? No, not yet. Can hook onto that though. Can we hook onto something, please? No, we cannot. Alright. Um, this is going to be somewhat, not really an issue, it's going to be a challenge. There we go, two or three. Then, you, Grandstar, get yourself moving. The weight that I have now is an advantage over what I had with <laughs> with the... I think it was the Scout 800 or was it the CK 1500 Chevy that we were exploring this. I think it was a Chevy actually.
kind of moving. And so we were kind of moving. Come on, man. Reach. I'm gonna need to bring that Scout 800 out here. Not even for a winch point, but just for fuel. I'm going to stop the engine here. I'm going to start a rescue mission for a rescue mission. Because we need to go... Wait, I'm going... The... No, I'm not going the wrong way. No. I'm going the right way. I need to go this way. <laughs> oh, I was confused. Okay. Um, I'm going to head that Scout 800 down there. Because it's packing more fuel than the than the CK fifteen hundred. Also more light. And repair points. Don't forget the repair points. Those are important. So I will see you guys when I reach the the quarry and then going down to the To the Fleet Star and to the Trans Star. Alright, so I'm at the quarry now. So I think that most of the repair points are going into the Trans Star. I'm going to turn on all wheel drive, otherwise, we're not going to be able to get up there. And the Fleet Star will get a little bit. I think I'll fix the engine on the fleet star because those that's important. Wheels and stuff. It's still working, so I think it's not too important, but yeah. Mainly going down for fuel for the fleet star. Might give the trans star a little bit. And I'm here also for light support, so. <laughs> and there's the trucks. Well, hello there. Uh, re I said refuel. The source is the roof rack going into the Fleet Star. It's empty. Then we go to the repair truck. Uh, repair spare wheel to the international trans star. That's one. That's five. The gas tank, engine, and the gearbox ish. All of that's fixed now. So this should be a lot easier for the Fleet Star now. And I'm going to help you pull yourself out of there so that you can reach at least this power pole here
There we go. Then I'm going to park it here. And stop the engine. And to the Fleet Star. Can I reach? I can reach. Can I reach? I can barely reach. But barely is good enough for me. At least we're out of main danger. And if we're on to the main road, that would be perfect. Because then there's no more issues. This turn is quite deep for me but I'm still able to make it that tree is not going to be in my way good there we go and this would be a better job for something like the Transstar if it had a max upgraded engine you know because there's no long there's no nose on it and got a really tight turning circle that's the perks of a truck like that but still I do like these T cabs or the nose cabs. Not quite sure if it's a T cab still considered, I'm not an expert on that field. <laughs> but I do like the longer noses. I like the aesthetic of it mainly. That's the only reason I actually really like them. The ones with the nose, uh, I don't think there's really any difference other, other than the aesthetic to it and maybe some aerodynamics, depending on how the nose is made, of course. But I don't think there's really any benefit, real benefit to it, <laughs> other than aesthetics, but... Of course, you can house a bigger engine, but do they? Usually not. I mean, if we look like the flat cab, regular trucks that we have driving around here, and then the trucks that are in America, they have basically the same power output-ish. Yeah, maybe they have a bigger engine, but more pulling power, I... I'm assuming. Oh man, this is a nightmare. Getting you up here. Come on.
All right. We got her up. That's good. Let's get her going. There we go. Onto the main road. And we're free with a hundred liters left. Let's go and stop the engine. And just to be sure, I want to have that Scout 800 going out of this wilderness. Just to have myself safe, you know? And it's not going to be running out of fuel, that it's not going to be running out of repairs or something like that. I mean, it's quite a solid little vehicle. I don't doubt that it's able to get out of this, but on its own, with the fuel that it has. But still, I would like to be sure to keep to get it on the road and then get it going. Oh, actually, is it? Can I reach that tree over there? No, why not? Because that means that now I am free to move on my own again. Good. There we go. Time to get up. And then uh, refuel from the Fleet Star to the Scout 800. There we go. That should be enough. And if necessary, the Scout 800 can always get it back out again with some fuel because now it's just an easy ride going to the garage. But I think the Fleet Star can also turn off the all wheel drive. To get home and then yeah, you're just going to be home safe without any issues or running out of fuel all right I will cut back to when I'm going to bring the fleet star and also don't forget about the trans star I'm bringing that one home as well I already turned off all-wheel drive here and we are running these trucks like madmen there's there's the wrong the broken wheel in the back still but that's fine because the truck will be there any second there will not really be anything interesting that will happen but I think with 76 liters left, we will easily make it. Did we have to fuel? Yes, we had to fuel. Uh, because we were around uh, all the fuel from the scout is almost finished we were around 65 ish liters left when the scout came in to help the filler up and we're at 73 now so we would not have we have burned about 140 to get the trend star up there um, our garage is go is looking a little bit really uh, a little bit very international but yeah that's not really a big issue because they're quite good trucks uh, we got the Scout 800 that's an international the Fleet Star is an international and then here the International Transtar Oh, even the wheel looks broken. Huh. That's funny. Oh no, the wheel looked good. I mean, come on, come on, turn, turn, and go. 
All right, we are almost at the garage, so I will just cut this little last bit, you know. After I break it. <laughs> Here we are. The Scout 800 goes back in. And then the International Transtar. As you can see, the engine, it's the same size as basically all the rest. Just a turning circle, it's not as massive, I think. Let's see what we can do with this one. Because I'm wondering now. Is it going to be a helpful truck? We can. We have the best engine possible. We have it somewhere stored away in the back. <laughs> uh, a ray suspension is in Maine. Hmm. We can put off-road tires on it, but not the really big ones. Because it's in Maine. Snorkel can be Oh, it can go really tall. That's perfect. And we can put this flatbed maintenance sideboard fuel tank. I can even have that. Dang. It's got some really good uh some really good customizations. For a crane, it looks not too shabby. Um, I think I'm going to keep it for now. Yeah, I like the flatbed actually. On it. Also, the sideboard bed is quite good. It's designed for a saddle low and high, but... But yeah, I think I'm going to use it as a uh, I could use it as a heavy crane module, you know. Bring it to places so that we can I'm going to put the put the flatbed on it. Yeah, I'm just going to put the flatbed on it. See what it'll do. Uh, rear bumper, nothing. Factory round beacon and then factory parking lights. The chrome ones, not really much in customization. The stock one. The Defender looks a little bit more rigid for that, but no. Air conditioner for the cab. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to put those. No, no. Put those wheels because it's free. What can we do color-wise, color scheme-wise? Now, this looks quite in tune with... Yeah, that's look... That looks quite in tune with the with the with the bed stickers. Um, just lucky path. Hope it's going to be a lucky path. Yeah. Looks okay. Uh, windshield stickers. I do like the dragons for this one. Uh, curtains. Um, what looks best with the outside. And the Emerald Mustang. Why do I keep money? Money stickers 
Uh, light my fire, holy step name, your adventure. Your adventure. And I'm going to put shut up and take my winch. Freedom bird. No road, no problem. No, take my winch. No road, no problem. Just the mottos. <laughs> And this one can get off-road club. I park where I want. There we go. So this is what we're going to take on an adventure for the next episode. Um, the next episode, we will not repair this GMC. We will not get the CK1500. We will get... Shall we try this? I think this should not be too bad for the trans star. Yeah, we will do this. We will bring for the hungry workers supplies, food consumables to the drilling site and then go back with the international trans star. But for now, that does it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you will tune in next time for another SnowRunner video, of course, on Monday. So, like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.